Well, okay, we're recording now. Yes, because we're going to talk about Promised Neverland, because Joe has gotten further, and he oh, wants yeah. to talk about it. Is uh, he caught up, or what? No. Uh, so, Promised Neverland, I'm at chapter 125, I think? I'll have to double check. Uh, I've, I've been enjoying it. I think the first arc of it is a really good non-battle battle manga. Uh, really? has some wonderful like shots and creepy visuals. Uh, we, when Bradley talked about why he did he stopped reading it, his one of his things was that he couldn't like he could see where they were coming from in their solutions, but he couldn't see how they got to their solutions. Something that like that. Or, no, it's like I like but, I understand how they got to their solutions. There's a suspension of disbelief. I just don't think anyone would would think that far ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I I had that exact same feeling when I was going through that arc. Bradley, you're not alone. I I kept going with it because I want to see where it's going. Um, I will say that the two characters that do that the most, they kind of explain a little bit more why they're kind of special. Um, with everything. Special. They explain. They explain why they were special from episode chapter one. Yeah, well, they were like. Uh... Yeah, they're just the smartest kids, so yeah, that's why they're smart. Them. Uh, but about why is Batman so smart? Because he's fucking smart. <laughs> I mean, but he's Batman. <laughs> why? Why Tony Stark? Tony Stark. Well, actually, there's some weird shit behind that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we're not gonna talk about. We that. don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, um, but like, once you get past that arc, I feel like there is. So after that, they have this whole like thing in the woods that's interesting because they have to survive. Spoil, uh, soft spoiler alert yeah. for after anime stuff. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I, I shoot me it's... a message when this is done. Yeah, you can okay. step away, Tyler. Yeah. If you want, if you want to go in completely clean. Yeah. I uh, they made the anime for it. Yeah. yeah. So, once again, to the forest, it becomes a little more action heavy, and then past that, it starts to get really action heavy. Um, that being said, the the one arc that I'm thinking of that's like extreme action heavy was really really good. It's it's maybe like my favorite. It, I, it's it it's my favorite for other reasons than the like yeah. it's very different. It, it's a it's just a good survival tactical battle shonen. in. It's, yeah. it's an arc called Goldie Pond, and yeah. it has a very good antagonist, which I I really liked. Um. And I, I liked how they went about fighting him. Uh, and Yugo is a great character. <laughs> I be- Well, uh, actually, that's a spoiler. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so, I then past that arc. And that's where the troubles come. It's right after Goldie Pond. It's right after Goldie Pond. Where Promise Neverland it's... stumbles. <laughs> it's... Yes, so a big thing about Promised Neverland uh, is, the big appeal to me is you have our our protagonists are in a situation where they absolutely cannot win by brute force. Like, they can't force their way through it. And now we're getting to the point where they actually could potentially do that, and the series becomes immensely less interesting. And because the whole idea starting out was that for kids, this they're going to kill us we have to get out of here but we can't just like you know bust our way through the gates we have to cut this plan and figure things out and a lot of the stuff that's being talked about now it just doesn't seem it's that suspense i can't like suspend well, my disbelief in what they're doing they here. introduce characters that can fight yeah. these monsters and i really don't like that group of characters by the way Same. they're super uninteresting but they're like demons all along oh what if oh. bradley no uh, uh what i really don't like is right after the goldie pond arc you get this time skip mm-hmm. or like this like they do so much stuff off screen and i was reading weekly at that point i was caught up and it was so jarring to watch them have done so much off screen they like again softest spoilers they infiltrate um a a town in, like they just like you 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 finish off an arc and then the next chapter is they're infiltrating this town and they get what they need but then like there's so much lore that they could have expounded on when they were visiting that town like it was our first look into demon society like how on a normal to... scale not just the farm production um, side of it so it was like 
what is going on? They're just trying to. They were trying to move the plot so fast. Yeah. And shit gets magical. And, and, yeah. And I guess that's fair. You know, there must there always had to be some sort of that element here. Yeah, I guess there's demons. But it, it's, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Are no, they demons? No, no, from Joe, from from that first part, we know about the segregation of of like the we world, know there's like, right? There's like a Maybe we don't know the specifics uh, in no. that first arc, but we don't. There, early on, there's a thing that's introduced where it's like, there's no way that this could happen without some sort of supernatural force. Yeah. Uh, but then they, they, they very dive into that. Have you? Oh, oh, that's uh, where that's are what, you? I am. They are talking to the underground resistance. Okay, in the and, tree. In the tree, and the leader has. Put his has had a meeting with someone else. Yeah, and is putting the, his pods in land. Places. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Gielin, yes. Yeah, Gielin. Yeah. That's that's where I am yeah. right now. Uh, it and, gets a little better from there, and then yeah. it, it it gets it's like mixed. It's been a mixed ride. I, I haven't caught up all the way yet, but I hear there's some good stuff ahead of me. I just really didn't like. I finished the arc you're currently in, and then they introduce some stuff. Where it's like I don't know if there can be good in this, but I'll, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I, I, I've taken a break from it because I, like, blaze through it like you usually do. Yeah, this stuff. And then I got the Goldie Pod, and I was just like, oh, um, well, I kind of lost interest because <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know. There's, I'll let there's... you know if it has a good ending because that's around the corner. Is it? Do they know when like chapters get end on or? No, I don't think so. But okay. uh, th I mean, we this you're in the final arc now. I am. Okay. It, it's a long arc, and there I, I I would say that there's two halves now to that arc, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like I'm enjoying it. I I wish I could catch up to it so I could read it weekly because I feel like I would enjoy it a lot more weekly, when I don't like finish the chapter and look like oh my god I have so much more to read. It's like the opposite of One Piece, where like I finish it, I'm like, oh my god, I have so much more I get to read. Um, so yeah, but yeah, uh, I'm enjoying it. I want to see where more of it goes, but I, like where I am right now, I don't think it's the best part of it. Uh, but I think if you are interested at all in it, you should definitely go for it. The guy that draws it has some really great shots when he page really turns. wants yeah great page turns like when he really wants to make something creepy or just shock you he can do it very good uh uh pg-13 gore but it's really pushing that r boundary yeah uh it, it's it's a very interesting manga to be so popular in shonen jump right now mm -hmm. uh but yeah. yeah that's it for promise land for land that's all i yeah. gotta say about it uh someone someone get tyler back here Someone get that fool.